This is very exciting. And uh, real quick, what is baptism? Uh, again, this is something just like communion uh, has great symbolism and meaning to it. Baptism has great symbolism and meaning to it. It's something also whereby we experience God's presence in a profound way as well. Baptism is something that uh, a believer in Jesus does, somebody who's found faith in Christ. The water, this is, consider this to be like a casket because baptism is a funeral where we're buried with Jesus in the grave. We go under the water. Uh, like we're dying with him, we're dying to our old life and we're saying that we've turned from our old ways. And then as we come out of the water, we've been washed of our sin. And this is symbolizing this because it's only Jesus' death on the cross that does this, but the baptism symbolizes what this is a public declaration. This is saying to everyone, saying to the whole world, I belong to Jesus, I believe in Jesus. And as we come out of the water, we're symbolizing our resurrection with Christ, that one day that we actually will be raised with Him, that we now have been forgiven of our sins and been promised a place in heaven, but also will be raised to life uh, forever, you know, in the, in the final resurrection with Jesus as well uh, at the end of time. And so baptism has amazing power to it, amazing symbolism to it. And so today we're going to be baptizing three people. We have Susie, we have Alex, and we have Scott. Would you three come up? Let's welcome these three up. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hear from each of them. Let's move along a bit here, let everyone get in here. So uh, they're each going to share their testimony. And, um, and then we're just, then with one by one, we'll, we'll baptize them in a second. But let's just listen to their stories and, and celebrate with them what God has done in each of their lives. So let's start with Scott. Hello everyone, I'm Scott. This is my testimony. Before I came to believe in Jesus Christ, I was in college and there was never a dull tale, so to speak. I didn't have a moral compass, so my life was pretty wild and chaotic, but also very lonely. It was also in college when I came to believe in Jesus Christ. It was in the spring of 2005 that I experienced my first severe mood swing known as a manic episode. But God really used this experience in a deep way in my life. I had never experienced anything like that before. When I was in the hospital in Winona, Minnesota, I wrote on a blank piece of paper about the blood of Christ. I was fixated on the sacrifice of Jesus. I believe it was during this experience that the Holy Spirit came upon me and convicted me of my faith in Jesus. I've had two more manic episodes over the years, and no matter what else I've experienced, God has always worked through those moments to show me a deep love for Him. I declare that I am committing my life to Jesus Christ. A few names of people who have helped me build my relationship with Christ are Dave Smith and Natalie and Andrew Sams. Thank you. A Catholic and Christian household. With that experience, I grew up knowing there was probably a God, but I was confused about what religion to follow. I even dabbled in New Age, where I learned Reiki to help heal, heal any future patients I get as a nurse. However, it wasn't until I learned about the things going on in the music industry that I started really believing in God. A lot of demonic things were going on in there, and it, if that was real, then I thought God must be real. I researched the different religions and I was led back to Christianity. From there, I learned that there were doors that opened to the demonic based on what we do in our lives. If we're not participating in things that are edifying or that belong to God's kingdom, then we're participating in activities related to the kingdom of darkness. This can lead to the influence of unclean spirits in our lives. With that knowledge, I turned away from media related to witchcraft or fantasy, most secular music, and fornication. I strive to be closer to God and as time goes on and this baptism will help with that. I want to follow Jesus and I'm grateful to him for dying on the cross for all our sins and showing us the way to walk as Christians. Thank you for this opportunity and I hope that God blesses each and every one of you. So lastly here we have Alex and Alex has asked me to read her testimony for her um, which she has written out for me here so let me go ahead and do this. Alex says this, she says, I was raised in a Christian home. I have no memory of life without Jesus in it. But turning to Jesus on my own gave me peace. There was a comfort that came over me and still does in my worry. It was life-changing. There were many difficult times in my childhood where turning to Jesus got me through. As I got older, I felt a pull on my heart to turn my life fully to God. But it was difficult because of the toxic church I was in. 
I prayed to God to help me turn my life to Him, reading the Bible and studying due to the religious trauma. So I prayed I would overcome it. God put it on my heart to start small that, and that even wanting to turn my life to Him was a huge step. I wanted to be baptized for years, but was raised in a really toxic church. It did not really feel right to be baptized in a church that had so much hate and did not fully follow God. So I prayed and waited until I found what that truly represented my faith. The time has finally come. I have given myself and my life over to Christ. I pray that He will continue to work through me and lead me. I cannot imagine going through this life anymore without Him in it. I understand that I am not where I want to be in my faith yet, but faith is a journey. I am committed to be on this journey for the rest of my life to be closer with Christ. I want people to be able to see Christ through me in my life. All right, let's start. Let's do that in order. Let's start with uh, Scott. Scott, have you uh, repented of your sins and placed your faith in Christ alone? Yes. That's awesome. And it's our privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Susie, have you uh, repented of your sins and placed your faith in Christ alone? Yes. Wonderful. And it's our privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Alex, have you repented of your sins and placed your faith in Christ alone? Yes. Wonderful. It's our privilege to baptize you into the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Father, we just thank you so much for Scott. Thank you for his testimony and his love for you and his decision to put his life in your hands and we pray that you would fill him with your power and your spirit and help him trust you all the more in Jesus name. Amen. Father we thank you for Susie. We thank you for her testimony and Lord that you came into her life in a dramatic way. Thank you for setting her free from the powers of darkness. And I pray that her testimony would shine brightly that you would use her to draw many others into your kingdom. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Father we thank you so much for Alex the work of salvation in her life, in her testimony. And I pray, Lord, that you would fill her with your power, help her to continue to strive towards your things and trust in you. And uh, Lord, give her the strength that only you can give her. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. When you like and subscribe, this video reaches more people.